Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Rhino 7. I just downloaded it for a trial version. It looks like a pretty good program. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to uh, apply a texture map to your uh, STL file. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up Rhino 7. I think the trial is good for 90 days. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, change your view. Um, I go ahead and change the view over here to uh, maximize restore viewpoint. And I leave it on perspective. And then um, the second thing you want to do is come over here to render, or actually to view. And then you want to come down here to render. So that means anything that you render is going to uh, show up. Okay, so and you want to make sure you have your uh, materials palette open. So first thing you want to do is you want to come over to file. You want to say import. And then you want to come down to wherever your files are. Mine are on the desktop. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the Klingon knife that I created not too long ago. And then we'll go ahead and say OK. Now normally you got to size these up, so to do that you go ahead and click select everything by dragging a marquee around it and you say scale. Okay, now you click once, twice, and then you drag. And we'll make it that big. And then to move it you just get your pointer tool, do a control A, click on the the item and it's just dragging it into place. We could probably make this a little bit bigger so I'm going to go uh, control A, we'll go back to scale and then we'll click, click, we'll do three, maybe make it that big. Control A and then we'll move it into place. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do is, is explode this. So click on it because it's all one piece. Go over here to the explode. Now these are going to be um, in your palette here. So one that looks like a little explosion. So go ahead and click that. Okay, now you have individual pieces that you can change. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some materials over here. So to do that, you want to click on the plus sign. You want to say import from material library. I have a couple that I want to do with wood. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do the uh, African teak. It's probably a good wood. Now to apply the texture to an area, you just simply click on this and drag it over. And then we'll do that. We'll have to do that several times to get these pieces. Just click and drag over to the area you want to color. Click and drag. And click and drag. Okay, that takes care of the wood. Now I want this piece here to be plastic. So we're going to go ahead and click on the import plus and then import from library. We'll go down to plastic, double click on that, and we'll just say a black uh, sandblasted plastic. That should look good. Okay, now we're going to click on that, drag it over to here. Give it a second to load in there. Okay, don't look too bad. And now we're going to go ahead and go plus. We're going to go import from material library. I'm going to come down to the metal. And we're going to do a, um, a satin metal. And then we'll just do uh, satin aluminum, I guess. Well, let's scroll down and see what's down here. How about a satin? Satin titanium, that'll be good. Okay, now we want to click and drag this to the to the blade. 
probably put a satin titanium up here on the top too. I'll go ahead and click over to there. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and change this. You can rotate this by your uh, right mouse click button. Let's give it a rotate. And then we'll go ahead and click and drag in here. Fill that up. Okay, that don't look too bad. Um, we can go ahead and leave that like that. Now what I normally do to take a picture of this is do a screen capture. So you want to hold down your Windows icon, the Shift and the S at the same time. And then it gives you this little box here. And then you just uh, click and drag a marquee around the box. Okay, it captures it. It says one snippet uh, saved to the clipboard. So then I'll just go ahead and open up uh, Paint and just do Paste, uh, crop it if I need to. And then I'll do a Save As, uh, Save As a uh, JPEG, give it a name, call that knife, save it on the desktop. Okay, so that's, uh, that's one uh, color idea there for the knife. Now I'm going to go ahead and do um, new just to go through this process again. So we'll say no, we don't want to save changes. Now, um, Rhino lets you specify feet, centimeters, inches. What I normally do is small object in inches. So I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, normally, it comes with uh, comes the window opens up with four perspectives. You get a top view, a front view, a perspective, and a right. Uh, for the purposes of taking pictures and uh, texturizing and adding materials to your models, I go ahead and click this perspective one. Then we're going to go ahead and come up here to uh, your view. We're going to come down here to rendered, and then we're going to go file import, and we're going to import a second model. I'm going to go ahead and import this Star Wars Rebel Alliance necklace that I made not too long ago. And then we're going to blow this up. So we'll go scale. You got to type scale in the command thing. It's kind of a lot like uh, AutoCAD, if anybody, you guys are familiar with AutoCAD. Get the pointer tool, select all, control A, click and drag this over. Right there. Okay, so remember we got to click on this and hit explode. And that will make these pieces individual. So we're going to come over here to the materials palette. Um, I want to do a import materials library. I want it to, this to be plastic. So I'll go ahead and double click on the plastic folder. And then I want to do like a, uh, maybe like a black transparent plastic. We'll double click on that. We're going to click over here on the texture and drag it over to the main one. Try that again. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't want that. That actually lets you see through the model. So we'll undo that. We're going to go ahead and let's get a different plastic. We'll go to uh, plastic. Um, we can go, let's scroll down to the bottom here. Well, let's just make this metal. Let's go. Let's go for the metal. So we'll go ahead and go to metal, and we'll say polished, and we'll say polished. Uh, let's scroll down. Polished stainless steel. All right. Go ahead and drag that over. I don't really like that either, so we'll do undo. Uh, let's get one more material here. If you don't want to come from the libraries, you can go ahead and just click on these uh, preset ones. Like I could say plastic here, but it just gives you a white one. And then there's an option for metal, some other preset stuff. But I like the uh, imports from material library. Um, 
let's see here. Let's go. Let's try ceramic. Let's try porcelain. Okay, that's kind of a white color too. Um, kind of running out of options with this one. Let's go import from metal library. Let's try metal. Let's do the um, guess satin. Let's try a brass one. That might look interesting. Click and drag on over here. Okay, that don't look too bad. And now we'll go. Um, we'll make that logo maybe like a black. So we'll go click here. Go to import from metal materials library. Let's go to metal. Let's go to a mat. Let's. Let's do scroll down. Let's do the matte titanium. Got some pretty good luck with that. I'll put that there. Okay, that don't look too bad. And you can also do the sides of these things. Um, so if you wanted a, another color in the side there, you could go ahead and, and texture these too. Let's just do all the sides with this. All right, that don't look too bad. So this just gives you basic, uh, uh, basic, basic texture mapping. And also, if you want to do the background, you can also do the background. Like if we wanted to put this on a wood floor, we could go ahead and say import from material library. You could go down here to wood. Pick one of these wood textures. Let's go bamboo. And then you just click and drag this to the floor. And it puts it in there for you. Same thing here with a, if you want to capture that, put it on a, a website to uh, show your portfolio or show your work. It's just um, on the keypad. It's the uh, Windows symbol plus shift plus S. And then you got to. Uh, Actually, click and drag where you're going to want the uh, where you want your image to be copied, and then it adds a snippet here, a snip saved to the clipboard, and then you do the down here into paint. Open up your paint, Control V for paste, crop it if it's necessary, and then just save it as a JPEG. We'll just call this sample and then save it. <clears throat> okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Um, I'm going to be uh, messing around with the Rhino 7 probably for the next uh, couple of months. So I'll be adding new stuff as I learn. Okay, again, thank you for watching. And um, if you found anything useful out of this video, please consider liking and subscribing.